Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome wristwatch review. Thank you for joining us. And today, we shall be discussing dive watches. And what we have before us are three dive watches. First one is from Steinhardt, the Ocean One. And what we have in the middle is the Submariner 16610, a new vintage version. And of course, we have the latest iteration of the Submariner here, the 124060. Let's discuss them individually and together. First, we shall start with the Steinhardt. Alright, what we have here is the Steinhardt Ocean 1. Now, the design language taken by Steinhardt closely resembles that of the Submariner. In fact, the Submariner Starbucks with the green bezel, the sculpted bezel, edge as well as the design of the dial which has round pips for the hour markers the triangle the mercedes hands and even the script on the dial rep, uh, resembles that of the submariner very closely and the case similarly has polished side flanks and brush upper surfaces and uh, it also has crown protectors but the crown protectors resemble more of the neoclassic version than the latest iteration whereby the crown flanks are wider and of course the oyster style bracelet in this case it is not it is a relatively solid one but the end links are not exactly similar to the latest iteration it is more like a something in between the new vintage and the latest version because it is hinged instead of having a solid center piece over here right but nevertheless it is extremely well made i would say all solid pieces that terminate with the clasp over here with a relatively robust opening system and one interesting feature of this piece is the chamfered and polished edge over here which gives it a light, slight bling bling to the watch right so it is pretty well made i would say all in all and gives a very good impression for 500 dollars and putting it on the wrist i would say it looks pretty decent beg your pardon okay here is what it looks like on my six and a half inch reach and i think it looks pretty good for five hundred dollars right. now moving on this is the one six six one zero new vintage version of the submariner as you can see it still looks extremely nice extremely Contemporary, I would say, because the design language of the sub has changed very little over the years. And Rolex merely makes slight tweaks to the overall design that keeps the older versions very up to, up to date, very contemporary in looks. So it does not look like a very old new vintage. In fact, it looks very modern still. Now this piece, of course, is made in the 90s. So of course it's made of 904L steel, which is very white in appearance. The sculpted bezel still shines. And of course the insert is aluminium as compared to ceramic for the other two iterations. The crown is large, a trip lock version with small crown protectors. Of course similarly it has polished side flanks. Um, and in this case, because it's a new vintage version, it has uh, luck holes over here for attaching and detaching the bracelet. And the bracelet itself is a hollow end link version. And the center link is, of course, hollow. But the overall impression is still very robust thanks to the 904L steel. There is not a lot of slack. In fact, it's very rigid or robust, even to this date. Right? This is where its age comes in. The clasp 
is of course made up of stamped steel but because it is 904L steel it is extremely sturdy right so all in all I would say this new vintage version still holds its own even to this day now let's look at the latest iteration of the Submariner now in this case it is the 124060 in 41 millimeters so it's just one millimeter larger than its new vintage sibling and of course it is adorned with the latest Rolex technology including the ceramic bezel the large crown flanks and it has wider lux that give it a sort of a wider stance I would say if you compare it with the new vintage version so because of the design of the lux and the design of the bezel the watch looks larger right? other than that all the usual Rolex attributes are here 904L steel gold hands and markers similar to the new vintage version and an absolutely brilliant bracelet with zero slack whatsoever and it terminates at the brilliant Rolex clasp which is a real pleasure to operate right so this is the latest iteration of the Submariner now putting them together side by side I would say they look like close siblings all three of them are obviously dive watches and they come at different price points the latest iteration of the Submariner would be at about ten thousand dollars but on the grey market it will be substantially more let's see what the new vintage sub looks like on my wrist very beautiful I would say very contemporary still and obviously a submariner that can be seen from a mile away right how about the latest iteration? Here you go. Still a classic which offers a little bit more shine, a little bit more bling bling thanks to the ceramic bezel. Well, there you have it. Three different dive watches with different attributes, different character each, but all offering, I would say, good value even for the Rolex if you can get it at retail. And uh, I would say they have all served its purpose very well. And if you're able to get one, please do because they are truly a joy to wear and to behold. Well, thank you for watching again and uh, wishing you a wonderful day, week and month ahead. And if you do enjoy the videos, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps a lot. Have a great day. Ciao.